The MPX is designed with two types of ports. One is beveled, the other rounded. The ports are compatible with both single and multi-channel pipettes. Orient the MPX so the beveled ports run along the bottom and are closest to you. The round ports at the top will provide a capillary-like flow when filling the channel with the pipette from the bottom beveled ports. To assemble the MPX for use, lift the top plate from the posts, flip it 180 degrees, and place face down on the bench top. The foam cushion provides a pliable backing, which when assembled will seal the independent channels of the MPX. At this point, it is important to check that the bevel ports are farthest from you and the open side of the channels is facing upward. Center the cushion on the bottom plates between the two black posts and the etched notches located at the top and bottom of the base plate. Be sure to use a new cushion with every experiment. The etched notches will line up with the staggered channel openings on the top plate after it is stacked. After blocking the western blot for one hour, remove it from the blocking buffer, remembering to handle it with clean forceps and only by the outside edges. Position the molecular weight marker ladder on the top left with the largest molecular weights at the top of the membrane. To properly situate the membrane on the top plate, lay the membrane protein side down and align the ladder to the leftmost lane as follows. It may be necessary to pick the plate up and check the position by looking through the top of the plate. Try to work quickly as it is important not to allow the membrane to dry out. Readjust the membrane if necessary and place the top plate on the base by rotating. Again, make sure the bevel ports are closest to you. Quickly check to make sure the foam cushion spans the length and width of the blot to assure the channel seal properly. Replace clamping nuts and finger tighten simultaneously. Each channel of the MPX holds 160 microliters of reagent. Adjust a single pipette to approximately 200 microliters and fill with diluted antibody. Place the pipette tip into the appropriate beveled channel port and slowly depress the plunger. When the liquid reaches the top and can be seen in the round port, stop filling. Keep the pipette plunger depressed, remove the pipette tip from the port, and finally release the pressure on the plunger. It is important to watch for pooling of reagent around the perimeter of the channel openings. If liquid accumulates, simply wipe it up with an absorbent cloth before continuing to the next channel. Again, adjust the pipette to approximately 200 microliters and fill with diluted antibody from a 96 well plate. The MPX was designed so that the multi-channel pipette tips fit into every third hole. Align the MPX with the first set of staggered holes, slide into position, and depress the plunger. When the liquid reaches the top and can be seen in the round port, stop filling. Keep the pipette plunger depressed, remove the pipette from the ports, and finally release the pressure on the plunger. When filling the channels, it is not uncommon to introduce air bubbles. If this happens, stop pipetting and aspirate the bubble. Watch for the air bubble to float to the top of the liquid in the pipette tip, then refill the channel. This may take more than one attempt to correct.